Well, the chronically nuisance landlord problem has plagued this city for decades. Cincinnati police spend hours every shift responding to some of the largest public housing complexes in the city answering nonviolent calls. It's a problem that's cost taxpayers more than $10 million in the last two years, and it's a problem that's rotting the neighborhoods around them. who are basically disrespecting the community. And that's why I got involved. Ron Mosley Sr. is a member of the Roselawn Community Council. He's also spending time at council meetings fighting against nuisance properties in and around Roselawn. We met him outside this apartment on Reading Road, a complex where Cincinnati police answered 275 nuisance calls between 2013 and 2014. It was the highest number inside District 4. What are they ultimately doing to taxpayers citywide? Well, they're putting a burden on the city. They're taking city services away from everybody else. Mosley went to council last month pleading with city leaders to do something about the problem. He says with CPD spending so much time at chronic nuisance properties like this, cops can't effectively police the rest of his neighborhood. City council tried to do something in 2006 when it passed the chronic nuisance ordinance. At that time, CPD was dealing with 55,000 nuisance calls each month. The law gave the city power to fine nuisance property owners. Then if they didn't fix the problem and reduce police calls, the city could shut them down. But the city did not fund the effort until 2012, six years after passing the ordinance. The real problem, as mostly sees it, is property owners who are allowing the nuisance creators to stay, causing CPD to become property managers. It's all about the dollar. What they're doing is they're actually throwing the responsibility the care and the maintenance and the upkeep of their property on the city of Cincinnati. This Reading Road property isn't the only one. Right now, the city has 132 chronic nuisance cases. That's 132 separate properties with dozens of police calls each month. A Fox 19 investigation found many of the properties have remained on the list since 2012, the first time the city started keeping track. The main problem makers on the list center on three landlords. Downtown Property Management, who in 2013 had more chronic nuisance calls to their properties than any other landlord in Cincinnati. Uptown Towers, just behind City Hall, and ANS Management, who has the highest call volume properties across two separate police districts. We meet the last Tuesday of every month. Putting a stop to the troubles these properties are causing his neighborhood is Ron Mosley's top priority. The city, he says, has to enforce the fines already on the books. Our investigation found that's not happening. If I've got 200 and something nuisance calls or runs to my property and I'm getting fined every time for them, I'm going to start screening people a lot better. Take responsibility for what you're doing to our city. The nuisance offenders on the list are long and growing. Some say police are answering calls that are a complete waste of time. My girlfriend called them down here over a $40 phone. Coming up at 10, we'll show you what the city's done in the last three years to hold property owners accountable for the taxpayer resources they continue to drain. Plus, we'll show you who these property owners are. I'm Jody Barr, Fox 19 Investigates.